Today was the Wood County Plant Exchange in Northwest Ohio. I am so glad I clicked on the event featured on Facebook a few months ago because I got a reminder first thing in the morning. I was running a little behind because honestly I forgot and I really had no idea what to expect. So I grabbed a couple of little plants I had in three inch containers. I brought a catnip, a stone crop sedum, and a foxglove and headed up to the fairgrounds. When I got there, I couldn't believe all the people that were there. Holy cow, this place was packed. They even had volunteers out in the parking lot directing traffic for parking. I wish I would have known this event was this huge. I would have brought more plants. They even had a drive through area where you could drop off your plants at the door. How cool is that? Once the volunteers check to be sure your plants were marked or help you mark them, you get a bracelet so you know what group of plant exchangers you are in. Everyone gets three plants and you get an additional plant for every plant you bring. What a great way to start a garden for free, essentially. There were a few musicians entertaining before the event. I got there about a half an hour before the main exchange began at 10 o'clock. And uh, you could also walk around. They had local organizations that had tables set up with great gardening information, handouts, and even more free plants. Just before 10 a.m., I took a photo of all the goodies. Look at all those plants. People were packed in with wagons, milk cartons, bags, and even some baby strollers to carry their finds home. Someone from the event made a brief announcement welcoming everyone and explaining how folks were to be let into the plants. Everyone had a different bracelet based on when they arrived and how many plants they brought to exchange. I think there were five or six different groups. I wasn't the only one who didn't realize you needed a cart or bag to carry things, but that's okay. I know for next year. At the end of the event, when everybody got their allotted number of plants, the leftovers were free for anyone to take. I don't think there were any plants left. Here's my plants. They fit comfortably in the back of my car. And before I took off, someone had this cool product over at their booth I had to check out. A worm com composter. I didn't see any worms in the one that she had featured, but look at that soil that was inside that. So I looked them up. They are on Amazon. This is pretty cool. Check it out. Three layer or two layers. I guess down in here, down in the bottom layer, it collects the water, which the lady said you don't really need that. It it doesn't get too juicy unless you put watermelon in it or something. But look how this setup is. I really want to get one of these. This looks cool. But here's what I brought home with me. I got some Scottish thistle, which I thought it had a really neat leaf. So I'm going to Google this and find out um, exactly what it is. Um, one of the, I grabbed it because one of the master gardeners told me that the flower on this is just really beautiful. So... Uh, I'm going to look it up, see what kind of conditions it likes. I got an aloe plant, another aloe plant. This is a different one. This one's a little different than the one that I have right now. It's got like a variegated. So I'm excited to get that potted up. I'll bring that indoors. And I also found this is fun. I've been wanting to grow my own um, cactus. So here's prickly prickly pear cactus native to Ohio it says so I'm excited about this and today was my day for daylilies there was a really nice girl over there I met and she was googling these so I just kind of hung out with her because I was taking photos so she was googling these and showing me what the photos look like for each plant um, and she was grabbing them too so I ended up taking this green flutter look at this 
great. It's in like a gallon container. Awesome. And then I got the Dauntless. Another big container. And then this one is the... This one is the lemon, lemon berry truffle. So this is going to be so much fun. Better get to work. All right. Well, that was super exciting. I hope you enjoyed this share. I'll be sharing how I pot the different plants up. And of course, I can't wait to get that cactus leaf plant out into the dome. That's going to be fun. And the daylilies that can actually get in the ground today. I got some uh, hardcore weeding to do outside. But um, be sure to subscribe to my page here and check out my website at brenhaas.com where you'll find more fun, creative ideas. Till next time, guys. Get outside. It's beautiful. Have a great day.